Is the local school district wasting our children's time? A new policy is delaying the start of school by 40 minutes once a week in the local high schools. News 13's Micah Johnson went over and visited West, excuse me, West Valley High School this morning to find out more about the professional learning communities. And then he filed this report. The Fairbanks North Star Borough School District has implemented a new program called Professional Learning Communities. Once a week, the start of the school day is delayed by 40 minutes as teachers gather to collaborate. Here at West Valley High School, Principal Sean Kraska says that this program helps teachers avoid becoming isolated in their classrooms. Teachers are used to being um, kings of their kingdoms. When the door shuts, I'm that teacher. And I decide, guided by the curriculum, what I want to teach, for how long I'm going to teach it, how uh, I will assess my students, and I, I evaluate whether or not they're learning. I'm doing all of that in isolation. And there's, that's not best practice, to make all of those decisions in isolation. Currently, the teachers are developing a list of core concepts for their courses. While the school district's curriculum outlines what students should learn, U.S. history teacher Amy Galloway points out that the curriculum is general in many areas and subject to interpretation. Within that curriculum, what PLC does is we get our whole team of teachers, not just five or six teachers, we get all teachers in the department who are all experts, saying what is absolutely essential for a student to learn. Not, I mean, we'll, we'll teach a lot of things, but just because we teach it doesn't mean students always learn it. So PLC is what is essential? What is every single student that walks out of any world history class at West Valley High School, what are they going to know? After the essential elements are defined, educators are able to compare student performances and trade ideas about teaching practices. However, according to Galloway, the Professional Learning Communities program could take several years to be fully implemented. So the first step is developing these essential learnings. The second step is implementing the essential learnings in the classroom and getting data getting, here's how my students did, how did your students do? Then we look at that data and then we say, wow, my students did really poorly on the essential learning of imperialism, but your students did well. How did you teach it? And then we share teaching strategies. PLC initially received mixed reviews from the students. Of course, many appreciate the opportunity to sleep in a little bit extra, but students who ride the bus are dropped off at the same time as any other day. However, as Regional Student Council Representative Ella Roan explains, most kids have adapted to the program. I like the idea of sleeping in some extra time, but Overall, I didn't think that students would actually use it to benefit their ac academic careers, but come second semester or the, after the first quarter, basically, I, a lot of my friends' grades improved because they had that extra time. And all their extracurricular activities that they did after school, they could do homework in the morning if they needed to. Reporting from West Valley High School, I'm Micah Johnson for News 13.